Hello and welcome back to Evil Land. Let's just quickly go through. Really? You were asleep. <laughs> Sometimes the doors are left open, but that doesn't mean anything. Without the password, there's no way to escape. I would come up with the perfect trick to do the entire prison layout with my back. But I never could get hold of a mirror to read it. Ooh. Okay, don't get close to the light. Go away. Okay, I'll admit it. You were right about the box thing. It was a good idea, after all. But how was I supposed to know those soldiers would be so... so... scripted? No, that's not the word I had in mind. Hmm. So incapable of noticing a box that's moving around right in front of them? Oh, anyway. Nice job. I hope the next floor is as simple. that song go again? Hmm. Oh yeah. Sir Robert heads west. Sir Robert is the best. I forget how it ends. used a very old numbering system where the letter C represented 100. So G represents 200? Phew! Another mile to go. If I only knew the whole password, I couldn't have to dig like this. All I know is, the con is it contains the word broccoli. Sir Robert is the best, Sir Robert headed west, Sir Robert ate broccoli. <laughs> oh, we're so close. God damn it. Too greedy. But I think we can make it. If we just follow him closely. Yep. Really? Oh, so scripted. <laughs> Could have gone to the right. Be done with it. Hey, Clank, it smells a lot nicer here. And it's a little cleaner, too. I'm positive we're getting close to the exit. By the way, what's the deal with the password? Maybe some other prisoners know about it. Everybody knows the last part of the password. Thanks. Anyone trying to come through this room must give the password. Okay. What vegetable do my kids love? Broccoli? 
in the songs of Robert. See so Robert goes. This is all the rest. If I count to see if I get one hundred and four. Which fate do you choose? Death? Password accepted. You may pass. I guess everyone knows the death. We cannot go over there. No over there. Oops. came to meet us. You did not see anything. Oh, there's a door. I mean, the arch or something. Sink. Hmm. Is there anything in the room? Not really. had my sword. Oh? This seems like a way out of here. So maybe the answer is over here? for it. Right. Oh, we can't save anymore. 
No, you don't. A star! Of course. Okay, now we can get out of here. this time and here are our first challengers go on don't be shy come forward please welcome to the great Colosseum where every day the mightiest fighters go up against ferocious beasts Settle down while I present the contenders. As I was saying, today on my left, very young but very powerful fighters filled with youthful zest and unbelievable potential. Please welcome. What's your name again? Don't give him your real name, that might cause trouble. So, your name? Um. Solid's name. Seriously. Please welcome the incredible, the amazing, the extraordinary Solid Snail. So tell me, Solid Snail, are you in top form today? Yes. Terrific! Solid Snail expects a crushing victory. He's gonna turn his opponent into Wolverine food. Aha! And I'm being told that Solid Snail's first opponent has just arrived! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, with a thunderous round of applause, the great, the magnificent, the extraordinary... Manimal! Manimal is the greatest, the bravest, the... Uh, Greatest bear tamer in the whole empire. He's trained his war bears to attack any target he points to. So tell me, Manimo, what is your secret? I use a special cure to tell my bears to attack. A cure, you say? That's terrific! And what is this cure exactly? Well, I look my bears straight in the eyes. And I say, get him! And they attack. Get him! Hmm. It looks like Manimo has had a slight accident. Miss, we have every reason to believe that you meddled in the fight before it even began. In accordance with Article 13-B Paragraph G, you are hereby disqualified. Solid Snail files Minimal's bears on his own. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, the fight will go on. Miss, please return to your dressing room until the fight is over. It looks like you'll have to manage without me on this one. Solid Snail. Hmm. Don't do anything rash. Those bears look downright vicious. Now, without further ado, this fight is on! Oh, those birds are tough. And they try to circle me. Which is not that hard when you think about it. It's an overwhelming 
Homecoming victory for Soy Snail. But let's not dwell on the past. Here comes the second fight of the day. Airing from the depths of Maliko Woods, masters of Eastern martial arts, admittedly small but decidedly tough. The fantastic, the nimble, the extraordinary Ninja Scrolls. Hmm? Oh, it seems that. Oh. Terrific! Ninja Scrolls. And without further ado, let the fighting begin! Wait. How am I even supposed to hit one when Okay, I can try to corner them. I'm being cornered. By my lack of spatial awareness. Please kill me. Or don't kill me because probably we'll have to do this whole thing over. Okay. Just have to redo this crow fight. Uh, it The thing is I can understand that they are throwing furkins at me, but I don't understand when they are charging at me. I can try real hard not to get hit and they'll hit me. Okay, one's down. Get hit, get hit! We should be done soon. Okay. That was strangely... That went strangely e a lot easier. And another resounding victory for Solid Snail! Solid Snail, just between us, where do you get your phenomenal strength from? What strength? Really? Terrific! However, however, that will certainly not be enough to impress your next opponent. But before introducing him, I have a big announcement. The Emperor himself insisted on seeing the next fight in person. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for... His Majesty Emperor Lohyar! So, Colonel, what must be the that must be the young man you spoke of? Yes, Your Excellency, that is indeed him. Solid Snail, if I heard correctly. He's the one who helped the girl escape. I see. Yet I made it clear she was not to be harmed in any way. Professor Guro needs her. We try to intercept her without injuring her, Your Greatness. But her powers, however weakened, are still strong enough to push back my men. Find her. I'm counting on you, Colonel. Yes, Your Highness. And on your end, Great Magus, how is the battle progressing? We've taken my bridge, Your Highness. The Demon King is hiding somewhere north and is trying to rally his forces. We have a plan to find his camp and we will then be poised to attack Demonia. However, if you were to approve the use of all means at our disposal, it would be quickly settled. I suppose you're referring to the new weapon that Professor Giro developed. Yes, Your Majesty, if you agreed to use it, I am certain the war would be won and the demons defeated in no time. I will consider it, Great Magus. As it is, this war is that dreadful business. Let us try to end it quickly and cleanly. If the colonel's reports are reliable, more conventional means should suffice. As you wish, we'll sit. So shall it be, none. 
It will make... I will make sure Professor Giro is notified. His weapon will remain in his laboratory for the time being. But if the situation deteriorates, I will reconsider the issue. Understood, Your, High Your Majesty. If you would please excuse me. He's hiding something from me. I'm sure of it. Now, let's see this fight. Some say that a very powerful demon has been captured by the great Magus sorcerers, but not before he killed several of them, which is a feat in itself. And without further ado, here is our next fighter, hailing from the northern steppes, stronger than any other human alive, as ferocious as a raging beast. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... The Daunting Demon! Menos, anything to say before this fight that's sure to be unbelievable, but bloody? I cannot die here. Terrific! And with that outstanding speech, let the fight begin! He's doing that. I'm too pretty. You are strong. You have earned my respect, but I cannot die here. Might I ask you to escape with me? I know of a passage that leads outside the Coliseum, but alone, I cannot flee the city. So, what say you? Yes. No time to lose. Come! And what if I go that way? Not really, what if I go that way? No, I can't go that way. And all opposing, that's... Interesting. Where... Where are you going? Hey! Hey, wait for me! Here we are. We should be able to reach the cellar. Remove yourself from my path, solid snail. See you shortly. Prophecy, very dangerous. The mighty will fall. And you're right. No broken bones, I hope. We find ourselves beneath Genova, the capital city of the Empire. We should be able to escape from here. Oh! Sorry! I said I was sorry, okay? Fine, if you wanna be that way, get, get by on your own. Gravity prevents us from leaving. I'm afraid we are stuck here. It's a rather sad ending, never to see my son again. So, you don't need me after all? Yes. Just as I thought. Well, let's see. This wall is pretty high. How about we try... this? Go on, it's actually quite simple. Indeed, it was not that difficult. Your turn, Clank. Can you forgive me for earlier? It's just that I was afraid you'd leave me all alone. You know, Clank, 
I think we're lost in a time that's not a home. I'm starting to feel really scared. Do you think we'll be able to get back home one day? Yes. I wish I was as optimistic as you. For now, we have no choice. We must go on. Natural Blade. With your help, I'll once again see my son. These boulders blocking our way look impossible. But with our powers combined, we should be able to break them. Focus, now to call on me. Menos, join the team! Okay. Okay. Actually, I could use some more. Wait. Oh, our attack is gain range now. Okay. I see now, I see. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!